Hello, I'm Zero, and I'm here to teach you how you can, as a server owner, um, be able to change your dinosaur um, and be able to disable dinosaurs in your server. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to where you are hosting your server. So, for example, I'm hosting my server on Ping Perfect um, on the Isle, uh, and so then we're going to go and well how do I disable dinosaurs well first of all you want to go to configuration files then over here you're going to want to go to configuration editor then from here you scroll down until you see new disabled dinosaur you can click that and then you'll see that it has a new tab here saying disabled dinosaur type in the code for the disabled dinosaur and you will be able to do that sort of stuff and that dinosaur will be removed from the respawn screen and if you remove the di disabled dinosaur that'll bring it back so that seems pretty simple right um, but then what you want to do is well I've just disabled all of these dinosaurs but how would I make myself into those dinosaurs without having to go into the respawn screen well that's when you have to open up your DB browser for SQLite which will be in the link in the description of this video down below. So from here you can see there's two options that you can currently do. New Database and Open Database. You want to head over to Open Database and find where, you, where you've downloaded your database. Now you probably don't know where your database is considering this is probably your first time using a server or maybe you just never had to do it before so head over to file manager then go to the aisle saved databases then click the globe icon which is download this will be your game database you'll be able to control the entire well most of the server in here so now once you've downloaded your database head over to where you where you've saved your database and open it up then you can see there's a whole bunch of new options that have been opened up to you go to browse database then you'll see there's table click this and then go to characters here this is where you can see everybody who's been on your server what dino they've been, how much growth they have, if they're bleeding, their leg damage, stamina, thirst, hunger, health, etc. Where they are, position, all that sort of stuff. See, you can see here this says class. Now this is where every single person's dinosaur, what they are. So for example, this guy is a T-Rex adult. These two are Utahs. This one's a Giga and so on and so forth. If you want to set yourself for it as a dino, you need to find out what your Steam ID is and type it in here. Once you've found out what your Steam ID is and you know what dino you are, you can change what dino you are by going into here and setting yourself as something else. Say for example, I want this guy to be a galley. And then I would click apply and this would change here. Then I would just write the changes and then after I had done that, you know, or I could revert the changes if I didn't want to do that, if I'd made a mistake. After I've changed in everything that I want to change in my database, I would then write the changes and then head back over here. Now for this you'll need the server to be stopped. You will need to have stopped the server to make sure that this isn't in use then select it delete it and then once this is deleted upload the new database which you'll see here and then just choose the file of the database upload it and then your new database will be here and then you can come back over here and start the server and that's it that is pretty much how you as a server owner can you know set yourself as a dino disable other dinos but set yourself as whatever dino you want so say for example if I wanted to be 
the admin dyno, which was in the primordial tyrants, is the Ostronova, um, then yeah, that's the code for that. All you need to do is find out what the codes are, and they will be in the link. In they'll be just in the description, just in general, um, so that that way you'll be able to find yourself um, all of those codes, so that that way you can set for yourself the what dino you want to be. This works in any game mode, sandbox, progression, survival, which means if you have a survival server and you know you want to be really organized and you know you want other people to just be different dinosaurs other than the dinosaurs that are in survival at the moment, as long as they're in your discord, they'll you can they can ask for what dinosaur they want to be and then you can you know how you can set them and in here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you as a server owner yourself. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.